What's good babies? Today is going to be a little get ready with me while I get ready for work and I'm going to be talking about my job and basically it is my experience working at a swingers club. So I've been working here for about 10 months now and um, I think it's my longest job ever. I, I don't think I've ever stayed at a job this long, um, although I am only 20 years old and um, I hadn't worked for like two years when I had my baby. So I think my previous jobs were all like while I was still a minor and everything. So they weren't like serious jobs, so that's why. But so far I really like my job. So most people don't know what a singers club is and honestly I didn't know what the heck it was either until I literally started my first day. Um, it was definitely really crazy because <laughs> my friend said it was a swingers club and I just, I did not know what the heck a swingers club was. I didn't even know what a swinger was. So I was just like, okay, a club. She said, we're all black, wear some black heels. Basically, I was just going to be a hostess and just check on people and everything. And so I was like, okay, that's cool. Sounds cool. Um, I went in and it was really nerve-wracking my first day because, I don't know, just going into like a club scene and you're like all dressed up and it, it's just kind of like you feel like people are going to look at you. And obviously they are. You're a worker. A lot of people there are going to get your attention um, you're gonna get their attention my bad because you're just working there and they're gonna come up to you and ask questions and all this so <sighs> my first day I was put in like on one of these huge parties apparently so when we went in it was just like a rush and I didn't know what the heck I was doing but they just gave me like a line to rehearse and like a little quick summary of where everything was and then that was it I just jumped right into it so it was really scary um, but learning now that I've been there, that's just kind of what they do whenever they're in a rush and they don't have enough workers for the day. That's kind of what they'll do. They'll bring you that day and they'll just throw you into the wolves. So um, obviously that's just like my club specifically that I'm working at. That's what happens there sometimes. Basically what a singers club is, is it's a club for couples. It's mainly couple oriented where couples come in and kind of like swap partners or meet people together and it's basically a sex club it, it, it really it's it's a sex club so they have like rooms in the back and there's a back section where there's like no dance floor it's just rooms and like couches and our club has a, a big shower where people go in and like they can all shower there together if they want they have rooms for like orgies specifically and like you know just groups of people and everything um and it's really just it's kind of crazy people there are gonna go to get to know each other or meet up with people they all like and then just go in the back and have sex that's basically it um so the actual club the first part of the club you walk in and there's a front desk and then we have an upstairs where the vip room is and then we have a like actual dance floor with the dj every now and then and then the bar which is a byob because in texas apparently they can't have like a, a sex club where there's like live entertainment um or it's considered like a a strip club and they can't have like alcohol um just in case for like i don't know what the reasons were but like you know alcohol and sex it's not a good combination so um not like legally so it's a byob bar and that's where i work now my first day that was that was the hostessing stuff. It was honestly really difficult simply because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I didn't know anything about what a swingers club was and people would ask you questions like, so I'm new, how do I like get into all this and everything? And I would be like, I have no idea, I'm sorry. Um, and even now, um, we're not allowed to be swingers ourselves. Any of us working there, they make us sign this really long contract about things we can and can't do or we'll get sued. Um, 
the pay is pretty good. The pay is pretty freaking good. I like the pay. Um, I don't like make my own tips working at the bar because like I said, um, the hostessing was like that's own thing and people at the front desk get their own tips and then people at the bar get their own tips and then we have security which they I guess would make their own tips but we all have to put all of our tips together and then we split them at the end of the night so however much I made at the bar that goes for how many people are at the club in general working um, so yes I always get asked so like you must see crazy things up in here right like I work at a bar so I don't really see anything crazy but the thing about like the dance floor is people are allowed to be like naked guys just can't have their penis out like they could have sex as long as their penis is not out and they're like hiding it they're good it's really weird um so that to me is nothing crazy I'm very like how do I say it I really just don't care like I all see people having sex all the time and I just or hear it and I just like okay I don't really care like I I hear people are like oh does it make you horny working here and all this and I'm like no like I'm sorry I couldn't care less about you guys having sex like no of course we do not participate with the customers I don't know why I get asked that all the time well, all of us get asked that all the time like you guys da, da, da. no I don't care if the club is dead I'm not gonna go in the back and have sex with you while I'm on no most of these people most of the people that go there are like 30 and up we'll get a few every now and then that are younger but it's honestly not common and it's like most of us that are working there we're like 25 and younger so it's kind of like some of them are into it they're into older people but like me personally I'm very monogamy like like no like you know I would never I mean a lot of us that work there are kind of like that we're just monogamous people if that makes sense and it's just I don't know it's not my thing and I think that's makes it better for working at a place like that if you're into it you're probably gonna get fired pretty quickly we did have this one guy who was working there who would like sit and watch the customers and be all creepy and flirt with everybody and like cat call and like he was really weird but he ended up quitting the week before he was gonna get fired so other than that other than like all the things I see on the dance floor it's really nothing crazy there have been times I have to go go to the back and security does stay in the back so they are the ones to ask if you really want to know all those crazy stories you know what I mean um I have seen like crazy things of like 30 people orgies and stuff like that I have seen that I've seen like girls spanking people with a whip um stuff like that i mean you're gonna see all crazy things up in a singers club and it really depends on the day and how full it is and some days there's really like no people um we in houston have like a lot of competition compared to other areas there's areas that have swingers club that's like the only swinger club in like cities you know what i mean um whereas here we have like another two like right down the road and stuff um so we get a lot of competition so like mm. that's basically my experience so far um it is a very calm kind of a place we don't really get like anything crazy going on like fights or anything i think there's only been like one or two really like fighty kind of situations in like the entire time i've been there um and in terms of the kind of people that you'll see there most of them are older a lot of them are older but like i said you do get every now and then some like people that are younger and like there's always new people trying it out and everything and now that like open relationships and polyamorous relationships are more open they're a lot better in terms of people are trying it out all the time there's always new people that have never done anything like that go in um but there's also like a lot of secrecy to it like there's a lot of people that have came that are just like single men 
that are just like, hey, I'm here to get away from my wife today. And like, just, I don't know why they come up and just say that. It, it's, but I mean, hey, that's not really my business, right? Um, so, trying to make sure I run through everything. Yeah, in terms of the kinds of people, there's all sorts of races, all sorts of relationships. Like, it's, it's so diverse, guys. Like, anything you're really looking for, you're going to find it there, quite honestly. Um, but it can be very clicky. And that's because a lot of people that have gone to the club for, like, a long time, they're, like, normal there. And then there's a lot of those people, and they're just like, oh, yeah, we're going to hang out the whole time. And then, you know, but it, it's fine. People are honestly really sweet at the swingers clubs. Most people that I met there are in, insanely sweet and kind and I honestly really do enjoy working there. The environment there is great and if you are in an open relationship, um, I would really recommend you check it out. But please come like on a Saturday because you're going to be very disappointed if you come on a Wednesday or Thursday and there's like one other couple there. Okay, that's my only advice. So. That's it. If you have any questions about my job, please feel free to leave them down below and I will try to answer or make a follow-up video. I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in this sort of thing, but I thought it would be cool to kind of share my work area and like what that's like. Because I honestly know a lot of people did not know what the heck a swingers club was or that I even existed. And that was definitely me until I started working here, so... Anyways, that'll be it for this video, guys. I really have to go. I'm literally late already for work, so I have to go. Bye. See you on the next one.